Hello and welcome to episode 24 of Solo Factory. Uh, this is a bit of a momentous one. This is my first time loading into Satisfactory after the release of 1.0, which happened as of recording about so, maybe 12 hours or so ago. Um, as a result of this being 1.0, all of my mods uh, basically stopped working, as they generally do after updates. So I've got no mods, I haven't got any mods activated at all. So movement will be a bit sluggish. A bit, a bit slower than normal. Uh, we don't have a lot of the same, don't have any of those sort of fancy stuff that those mods brought in. So this episode is going to be primarily focused on what's new in 1.0 because they did put in an awful lot of stuff. Some new machines. Um, it's been upgraded to Unreal 5.3 Engine 5.3 I think as well if I read correctly. So we might even see some performance improvements, and I think I have so far in the few minutes I've been in here. But let's bring up the, the old um, stats counter. Stats... FPS, I think. No. Stat FPS. There we go. So we're sitting... it's quite small, but it's... Uh, it's just... On the right hand side there, it's around 90 frames a second at the moment, which I think is an improvement. I'm just going to get rid of this smart splitter because I'm not wanting, not too sure why that's there. Smart splitter, which is one of, get rid of those. So yeah, we don't have any more movement to get around quickly. So this is going to be, as I said, to get around to all the factory areas is going to take a bit of time. But the first thing to sort of go into is they have reduced, they have re sort of jigged the um, the progression through the various options and modules and stuff you can build through something I never showed in my se in the series I was uh, so far because it hasn't been needed is through this hub. Um, this is the the hub building. Um, so that that thing on top will actually fly away in in some mo in, in some cases. Uh, we have in here oh, our little hub thing we can sort of go into. Um, we've got a, some sort of game we can play. I'm not sure what that is. Not sure if that's new or not. We've got our sort of a character designer of sorts. We can change our various colours and what our helmet looks like. <laughs> so we'll just stick to that one for the time being. We have a toilet that we can actually flush stuff down by the looks of it. I'm going to flush. What do I flush? That'll do. Uh, what do I do now? Switch, close. I have no idea what that does. Oop, not trying to do that. I have no idea, but we'll come with that later. But what I was going to show you was this hub. So this is the tiers that they've had in the game. And so this is where you progress through the various materials. So you upgrade the hub and you get the ability to make constructors and make you get recipe up unlocks as well as you go along. They've rejigged this in 1.0. So some of these things I've actually already got. So I've already got power storages, but I don't have these power... Um, towers and platforms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this milestone. We need to provide it these materials, so 50 encasing industrial beams, 100 steel beams, 200 modular frames and 2000 wire. So let's go grab that stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have it. So top right hand corner is what, we've, what we need. So we'll grab one, two, three, four. We need another 100 Another hundred or so. Oh, this is really slow, this movement, without the mod that I had that was making me having really fast legs. And I've lost all of the stuff on the front, so I think that's what I want. Yes, modular frame. I think I need 200 of those, and I've already got... No, I need two more stacks. So there's 100, 200. We've got the beams. We've got that. I think we've got everything we need now. And this is the fastest I can move. Um, 
with the sort of vanilla sort of movement of, of in satisfactory um, so we'll just go and feed this thing so give it that give it that give it that 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 and that and one two three four this pump comes up and then we launch the pod which does that So that is Ada. She is the sort of assistant you've got in the game. Um, again, that's probably the first time she's been on in the video in the series because I just haven't needed to interact with this at all. Um, you may notice in the top right hand corner it actually says the pod will return. So in about three and a, just under three and a half minutes, that pod will actually come back. And that will allow us to do the next milestone. So I've just got to keep going through these um, to just unlock them because what I really want to get to uh, autosave now I've heard and read that your autosave is now a lot quicker so this will be interesting autosave in three two one. Oh wow that is massively quicker that used to delay for 20-30 seconds while I did that before so that's very impressive uh, so we need uh, what do we need we need a hundred motors which I've got none on me a uh, hundred, I need more of those, rubber and plastic, so we should have all of that. It's entirely possible that they've, I think they've also made some changes to the recipes, or some of the recipes. So it's possible as, a, as I move around the factory that some of my existing um, production lines will basically break. Which is currently what happens a fair bit with this game there. Not just recipes, the the amounts needed, the the complete makeup of the recipe and ingredients all together. Um, so it's not in not entirely impossible that it, some of my stuff will just stop functioning. But at this point, I'm not too fussed by that. Um, I've got so many things stored up in bunches of uh, warehouses and containers that it doesn't really matter if things break and stop producing. Um, so yeah, this is a very painful moment. They've also done some stuff with the man because there's now a whole new uh, man, which is the this thing here, which is like a research thing. Um, it, um, yeah, it's one of the ways you get. Okay. Oh, I can't do it while the pod's not back. Okay, let's go look at the man while we. Because I think it's where we're going to find. Okay. Uh, alternative classic smart planning. Do that one for sure. Let's just go back to the moment. So some of these things I had actually completed before, but some I hadn't. So I'm curious. Here we go. So these things, these three things, so the Mercer Sphere, the SAM, um, and Summer Sloop, or Summer Sloop, have been in the game as things you can just pick up, but they've never had a purpose until 1.0, and I've got, as you can see, a few of them. So this is now part of a new um, production, uh, new research thing, so I'm just going to go, it needs one, so it starts research, oh, three seconds, good. 
And now we've got Dimension with Depot. This is... Ooh. And Ada is mainly where you get the story delivered from, sort of through. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I'm going to put a... So, now that thing had... What's that? Sam Fluctuator. So that's obviously going to be through... through this research tree. And I don't actually have any Sam, because I've never been in need to collect it. Um... Let's just look at what this thing produces. So we'll research that. So that, where the voice changes to that other sort of, other thing, that's new. They've never had that kind of stuff in this, in these, in these, um, in these sort of dialogue sort of things. So it's, it's interesting. They've, that's where the story is being sort of pushed through, uh, or be delivered via at least. So this is all new. Um, I would probably need to actually start the game again to get all the, because you, you always upgrading these things as you go along, so I suspect I probably want to play the game from beginning to um, to get the story from the beginning, quote-unquote. Um, so, yeah, now launch that. Uh, so I've already got, I've already unlocked the fluid buffers and the fuel generators. So as again, this is just them reshuffling um, the the order of events in terms of the in terms of the hub tiers. Um, the reason why I'm actually doing this is not because I need to per se. It's because I want to get to the the very top one, and I just want to do it all in in quote unquote order, even though I've done it already. Um, so I need a thousand of these. Ooh. Go. Okay, so I've got a couple of things in my hotbar are missing because they were probably there as they probably upgrade they're probably items as a part of mods. But that's not, so we've got oh got three thousand. Uh could I wait eight and a half minutes for uh for the f hub thing to come back before I can go into the next one. Hmm. Well, let's go... as we've got to wait for that to happen, let's go and look... Yeah, they have seriously improved this game from point... from update 8, which is what the last update was, to now. It looks really, really nice. It's running really smoothly. I mean, that effect is just really impressive. Um, oh, I've got a, one of these things here. Let's see if we can... I'll take that. Um, yeah, it is looking and playing really smoothly. 
So one of the things they've also done, and they said it'll be, let's go look through the other tiers while we're waiting for it, because the other thing they've done in the, is a part of 1.0 is released quantum technologies, the big thing, which is basically around the higher tiers, which will be in tier 9, I suspect, if we go select milestone and go into tier 9, we've got matter conversion, quantum encoding, fix-it blueprints mark 3, so that's the fix-it, that's the blueprint designer there. So just made a bigger versions of those. Um, and we've also got spatial energy regulation and peak efficiency. Now this is what I'm really interested in. This is Mark 6 belts. So one of the big issues we've had for a long time in this game, ever since the sort of they started introducing the, the nodes and pure nodes, is if you put a Mark 3 miner on a pure node of any sort, and then crank that mine up to 250% or 2.5 its current its normal speed it produces around 1200 I think pass per minute and the fastest belt up until that has only been the Mark 5 belt which is only goes up to 780 so you've had this massive um, over f couldn't even handle the, the full performance of it um, and there's been lots of back and forth in the community about what how they're going to fix it, and you know, con questions asked of um, of the community managers about what they're going to do to fix it. We thought they might put on two belt outputs, or we thought they might just do a belt, you know, Mark Six belt, which is what they've done. They look like they're doing that all along. So yeah, that's um, that's what I'm really aiming to get to is getting to this tier nine stuff because this is all new materials. So I've already got, I've already got all this stuff unlocked. I mean, I've got rotor control unit, supercomputers. That's, I've got a hundred of them in my, in my inventory, and I've already got, you know, 152 supercomputers. I've already got that stuff unlocked because it was in a previous tier earlier, um, and part of this, you know, that's what I said. They've redone the, redone the, redone this. So I'm just going to go through this to get all these unlocked. And then we'll try and get to the first one. So the first one, we're going to unlock these things. Um, and that's what I actually want, a SAM fluctuator. Uh, it's going to need 100. I've got that covered, I think. 500 of the cooling systems. Let's check. That might be a bit trickier. Uh, I might have to go to the other storage from them. So we need 500. Oh, we're good. We've got 2,400. That's interesting. Wait a second. They changed the stack size? No, it must be 100 from the beginning. Okay. Uh, we've got four and a half minutes before the pod comes back. Um, what I might do is just try and get across. I have got the. the um, this thing, so I can get across if I just follow my power lines across. And hopefully, I can get across and not fall. That's true. I think they've changed that too to be way more. That used to be that would. I'm pretty sure the. I'm pretty sure that's been changed. That the hover pack has been changed. To be. Um, way bigger distance between it disconnects and reconnects to power and stuff because I thought I'm pretty sure in previous plays of that that would have disconnected way earlier than it did um, so lots of yellow on these machines in here which means they're nice basically not functioning uh, which again as I said earlier is probably not all there that surprising no they're running they are really loud So this is making. So okay, they've just got an output. They have changed the audio, what they sound like too, because that's different. So they're not, they're not, they're operational. They just um, got a big um, uh, call stack there, not call stack, Q stack, output stack. And these don't sound like they're operating, because they are full as well. So, yeah, I suspected, as I said at the beginning of this, that they might have changed the recipes and things will start to break. 
So that's making copper ingots. What is this actually making? What is this one? Heat sinks. Okay, so heat sinks making so copper iron ore in ingots into Oh that's interesting. Uh, okay, I think I know what this might be. Um so one of the mods I have is a um or was, it's not active because it's broken as the update is a counter mod and I'm wondering if somewhere up in the um, up here I have a counter mod that's another thing that happens occasionally after, up, after updates that the belt just stops functioning so what we just have to do is go here and build that and now see it's starting to flow again. So that's what that was about. That'll take a while to catch up. Uh, let's go check if there's any others. So that's what I have to do with the. That happens after a lot of updates that something just stops the belt from functioning or flowing properly for whatever reason. Um, let's just check this. So let's just see. So they're all now getting stuff in. That's, that's a manifold one, so it'll take a while for it to eventually flow through, but that's fine, it eventually will. Uh, so this is creating 90 a minute. Um, I think this is also creating... No, that's taking the... Uh, our cloud sheeting from above, which is, a, which is droned in. So I wonder if my drone is not working. We're not flying in. Okay. God, that save now is so short. It's impressive. Um, interesting. So this is a drone port that is just receiving goods. And unless they've changed that, so it's coming from here. It's a long way away. I think it's on its way though. Um, because this. Oh, that's my pod coming back in. Somewhere over there. I'm curious if another one is going to come in here. I haven't have got in here, so I can take a bunch out of that's an overflow, so when that came out of the out of wait a second. Oh, it's over there. So it comes out of that and it goes into there and if it's ever overflow from it it would go into these storages. So I could just put a bunch of them into into here, into the incoming pod, which will be as if it got a delivery. Uh, but I actually want to wait until the actual drone appears. I'll bring up the map for a moment. Uh, and we put the drones back on the map. It's entirely possible that none of the drones in some areas are going to function because the recipe has changed and they've got, haven't got batteries. So. Um, this is where it's going to become a bit tricky because it's a long way to get to the other part of the factory and I don't have the teleporter mod that I was that I had before. So I think the next step will be to feed this next milestone and then try and get over to where... Um, to where these uh, to where some of this stuff is actually coming from hmm okay Uh, 
Now this has made the uh, using the hover pack so much better now it's got way more distance between that it picks up connections. Always thought it was a bit too short, but there. Yeah. All right. There we go. Another 400 of those and another 50 of those. Right. Right, I'm going to now try and get myself over to where the our cloud, the the main port where a lot of this stuff comes from. So it'll take me a while. So I'm going to, I might cut there. I might do a big, I might do some sort of uh, time lapse or something. But yeah, we'll come back when I'm when I'm there. Alrighty, bit of a change of plans. I decided I would actually do a quick, well, didn't tend to be too quick, so it takes a while to move around now, um, with all my, without the various mods I had to prove up to improve the speed up movement. Uh, I thought I'd go around each area and just check what each sort of factory area was doing. Uh, when I came to here, this was all completely gummed up. None of it was working. Uh, I was running off battery. Um, a whole bunch of issues had cropped up. Uh, namely, most of it was around belts that had stopped f flowing, as I sort of think I showed earlier. Some of the belts just stopped, have little gaps in them for some reason, and just stopped functioning. Um, the bigger issue, though, was these drone ports all seem to stop, seem to stop working. I think I've got most of them up and running. Um, not all of them, though, because the second from the end, well, the last one was actually sulfur that completely stopped. But that was a bigger issue in that the sulfur node I was using, which was getting, which on the far side of the map, was getting droned into that far port. That node doesn't exist anymore. So what I've had to do is, you can sort of see if I hover up here, this setup, this um, setup through here, you can see that setup through there. Very at the top there, that is a sulfur node up there. You see on the top there. So that's a sulfur node. So that's now coming all the way down there, down there to under here, and under here, and then lips around the back here and feeds in just there and feeds these two guys, which feeds sulfuric uh, acid to these first four. Um, I think it's the first four, is it the second set? Of, no, it's the second set of four blenders involved in making this process of so getting rid of the nuclear waste. So they all stop working as well, so that's a quick, dirty workaround. It may need to be permanent, but if it is, I'll make that look a bit better. I may even repath it, we'll see. Um, so most of these are now functioning. You can see the drones bring in from right to left, starting from this second one, they bring in iron plates, in case industrial beams, steel beams, and heat sinks. Uh, sorry, electromagnetic and control rods and heat sinks. I think they're all now flowing. I think potentially though the iron plate is not. And that's causing a problem because that's needed by the first set of four blenders to make the first part of the nuclear waste setup. Uh, so see there they've got 148 left at 12 a minute. That's going to last me not very long. About 12 minutes funnily enough. So when that starts running out these all stop functioning and then everything will start to go up again. Uh, I am, as I said, running back on fully powered now, full production, 120,000 megawatts. Batteries are fully charged. Um, luckily, the consumption is way down. That would normally be around the 55,000 megawatt range. But because those to most of that factories, those factories are not running, my, pro my consumption is way down, which means the batteries last a bit longer. Um, so at the moment I'm just looking at manually feeding the the, the iron plates into that thing, um, which allows me to 
uh, allows it just to pop plate, feed all that stuff into there. I did have a whole bunch of backed up waste that fed into these four things. That's now being set up through the manual waste process here, which is what this one is. This is the emergency break glass one. If I have a problem with it, I can just feed into here and it just deals with it manually or deals with it at a normal, just normally. Uh, in fact, what have we got in here plates wise? Oh, actually, what we might do is just grab as many of those as we can. Uh, what won't we do? We might just get rid of. We might just go back and forth for a bit. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so this is now essentially functioning properly, but I do need to figure out why the last drone that brings in the iron plates is not working. I don't know what happened with the with the drones. They just seem to stop flying, basically. Don't know if there was an issue with the. Okay, so we still have some in there. Okay, so we'll just add some more into there. So where's that coming? Oh, coming at that. Cool. Um, <coughs> it's me. So that's this is basically now functioning. So there's a whole bunch of. Um, come through here um, so just keep going through here most of these things kept on flowing but I think now these are going to stop because I don't know if heat sinks are being brought in which is what these things need no electromagnetic control rods so I still got I haven't quite got it nailed down yet um, but this is all backed up you can see there's four left in the output the whole bunch sitting in here so even that's not fully functioning it's still gonna most of the power is going to be there this is another one that's not functioning this brings in uranium from another part of the fact other part of the map and because of the machines below aren't running oh wait a second I might just dismantle that make that land because that'll unload the uranium uh, we'll see how that so what we'll do before we go any further, we'll just go keep going around here. We'll keep going around. We'll go, we'll go clockwise around the map. We're currently in the bottom left, it's down in here, sort of down in this section. Here I am. We're going to go over to my aluminium ingot setup and explain what was happening there. Then we'll take a train ride to the Spire Coast and look at the plastic setup. Then we'll take another train ride to desert area for the main functioning main production big production area and we'll finally take a little a bit of a hike to the area that makes um, the batteries which is where my current problem is because that's got a couple of uh, resource node issues as well um, so we'll get to there and that'll probably be the end of this this video just to catch up on where this is all at um, and because none of the main factories functioning all of this stuff is basically going nowhere and just backing up so therefore these are all not really functioning but they do run again I had issues with with belts not functioning but for the most part this was a relatively easy one to get up and running again yeah just these issues with belts not connecting properly or whatever um, but this is all functioning so the plastics all all going well that's working um, they have made a slight change I think to uh, these generators in that they now produce 500 each I think they've upped the rate of these a bit so they're now 500 each which is good because that's a thousand megawatts there oh I need to catch this train so so that's bringing in a bunch of stuff which is looking good so when I first came to this area these this train was coming back empty which is not good because it shouldn't be um, so we'll jump on this one and we'll take a ride to the Spire Coast.
Okay, this is the Spy Coast. This is where all my plastic is made. Uh, and some rubber is also made here. Um, that train now takes plastic and rubber back to that where we just came from. And then that gets belted back to the main factory area. Um, so this is all making plastic that goes into these three storages, or train depot uh, strain storages. And that is then trained off to the desert area, which is over here. The train is actually on its way back already, so we'll... Um, on its way to it. Um, so yeah, this is where the plastic is made. Most of this was again just belt belts weren't functioning properly, um, but it had stopped working. Um, so yeah, that was a relatively simple fix, and now it's basically up and running full production again. So I think it makes, I think it's something in the order of, um, so each one's sixty. And there's two, four, six, eight, ten, and I think there's one, two, three, four, five. I think it's five and seven. I think it's a bit of an odd pattern. So it's five on one side and seven on the other for twelve times sixty. I think it makes seven twenty plastic a minute across the whole setup. Um, that then gets trained, as I said, trained to another part of the map to then be used in just the production of computers. And those, those then computers are then drone back to the main factory because they are then used in supercomputers and also other other things use them for production to making things. So, for example, if I go and find the for one of the miners, I think. So one of those things uses it. I can't which one it was now. They're also used in, yeah, they're used in um, some construction as well, as well as other materials. So we'll wait until the next train come train comes back, which is just left now, it's on its way. So we'll jump on that and head on round to the uh, desert area and look at the production of heavy modular frames, computers, and electromagnetic control rods. Alright, so this big building in front of us is where the computers are made. So well, that's the plastic that goes into it. Uh, I think at the back here we can get into here. I'll just check. I'm pretty sure I've got this function again. It was all belts not connected up properly. No, this isn't working. Why is this? Cable. Okay, I'll have to come back and fix why the cable's not functioning. It was working before. So I'll have to come back to look at that. I suspect there's going to be another belt not connected somewhere. Oh, no, it's the wire. It's not getting wire for some reason. Not to sure.
sure why it's not getting wire. So we'll look at that later. Over there in that building is where the electromagnetic control rods are made. Uh, that goes into making got heaps of space in here if we got got heaps of iron ore ingots coming out let's just go up and just might be a quick and easy fix let's see so is that making no where's the cable made Cable comes from wire. Oh, there's no copper ingots coming in. Uh, that's got to be another belt issue. There it is. That's what it's always been. It's just these belts aren't connecting. So just check what's happening here. Okay, that's another one that needs to be fixed. Okay. Right, that should look, we'll let that catch up, do its thing. Oh, okay. Um, <coughs> Alright. So that's that. Now if we jump over, let's just fall back through here. Uh, so over here is, let, okay, we'll just, rather than going to that factory, let's just go up to the drone port, because this is our main problem. So I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yes, yeah, so that's taking, that's taking electromagnetic control rods to the generators, which is obviously functioning. This is the one that takes steel beams, iron plates. So only that is working. Outgoing 60 a minute. That's about right. They need 12 a minute and there's four of them. So that's basically working. And are we getting iron plate coming through? Yes we are. It's the middle one. It's that one. So that's all good. So, so it's got enough batteries, 200, 200, so this is probably working, I just probably just haven't seen it land at the other end, so that's all fine. So I think that's all going well, uh, that doesn't appear to be going well, this is heavy modular frames in this big multi-level building. Uh, let's just check that. Might be a basic issue. Let's check. In case your industrial beams aren't being produced. Pretty sure I got that fixed earlier. This was all every basically every factory I had broke. So none of them all of them were non functioning when I got to them. And I thought I'd fix this one. I thought that was meant to be the case the industrial beam is going up there. Okay, so it is functioning, but nowhere near quick enough. Uh, just do a quick save in here. So so just check as to why that's happening. Okay, so it's not quite getting enough concrete. Which I think comes from over here, if I remember. Yep. So they're all running, so... How exactly can they be... Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, look like it's functioning properly. Uh, these ones are not, which means these ones aren't. And that's because a belt issue. Yep, right there. Alright. Alright, we'll let that catch up a bit. There we go, so that'll catch up to 100. So that's 15, 15, 15, 15 is 60 total. Okay. Let's see if we just go up through our little gap here. Uh, Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Just make sure... 10 beans per minute, so that's got enough. That's backed up. That's backed up. Yeah, these will now start to start to get some beams coming through. That's fine. That'll eventually start to pack up. With it being manifold, it takes a while for it to saturate the belt to make it fully functioning. So, next little bit we're going to go to is we're going to head over far side of that map. We're going to jump on to that platform we see there. Sadly, that train's not operational. So we'll have to wander around that big platform to get over where that area is we can see that drone hovering over it because that's where batteries are made Okay, so two big factory buildings here. This one on my right is making batteries, which is then at the very top of this thing is a drone, basically a battery distribution hub. So this makes all the batteries, which are currently coming out of storage. So we do have just over 30, just under 32,500 in storage, just over. They come out of here into this distribution point and they get fed into these drone ports. These drone ports then take drones, they take the batteries away to the various 
other ports that need them desert where we just were for example and then um, any entry battery well not any entry batteries any over over excess batteries are then basically drawn back and that then feeds into these but I think because this one goes to uh, this goes to Desert Muni, which is the other side of the computers. I didn't show that bit. There's another little drone port there because that's making plastic containers. That's not functional, so because that's not functional, there's nothing to, for the drone to do, I think. Or maybe that drone's also broken. I'm not too sure. This one's going to batteries for the gas filter. So there's a gas filter over roughly... Whereabouts is that? In this area? There's a couple of production towers there making steel beams, pipes, and gas filters. So there's a drone port that takes batteries to that one, so that can then drone it to the next bit. Main factory, and this one is taking batteries to that pipes and that beams one I was talking about. So there's a couple of drones aren't functioning, it would seem. But the main issue with this area is that the factory itself is not functioning because of two issues. The first one being that uh, this needs sulfur because one of the production bit levels needs sulfur which is basically comes in here through package sulfur because the new sulfur node was, or still is actually, near that building just there. However, its purity has been dropped down and as a result of that, it's not supplying anywhere enough sulfur to that factory. It's, it's maxing out at 60, I think. Uh, maybe a bit more than that, but it needs to be more like 300 or something. I can't quite remember the exact number it needs, but it's not enough. So as a result of that, the batteries aren't being made at the full capacity, or if at all. And then that's gumming everything up. The other part of it too is that... Um, you can see that series of... that belt run through there, up there, and to there, and then that little one, just that little bit there. You can just see to the end of that, you can just see there's a miner just sitting there. Just there, you can see the top of it. Um, that used to be raw quartz, but that got node got removed. As a result of that, the building I'm in now, which requires raw quartz for aluminium, aluminium production, and this building that also needs it for silica production is basically not happening. So I've got two issues here. One, I've got to fix, I've got to get another sulfur source in here. Now, luckily, there is a sulfur node, and I don't know if it was there before, I don't think it was, maybe it was, just to the right. You can just see it nestling in there. So that's actually sulfur. So what that means is I'll have to resurrect that train network that I had. Uh, used a long time ago but stopped using it to get sulfur to come to here and then feed into this little production building which will then get that bit up and going now luckily also if I come into my map here I'll just click on that little icon there and do that where that beam of green is that's where there are several raw quartz nodes so I'll just have to extend and repath the uh, that the function the the belt run there and we'll get raw quartz into this building and the next one as well and that'll then be that up and running so that's the next that's the that's the next episode's little bit of work to do uh what i might do now is actually go from here all through this area up through there that was the that was the sulfur node that was meant to be working for the nuclear gen setup but as i said that's gone that little building there is just taking uh, uranium, which is the, there's a uranium deposit in node inside that waterfall, basically. It takes it from there to the nuclear gen area. Um, and there's now an extra port there for an extra spare one that was draining the nuclear sulfur, sulfur in. So what we'll do, we'll follow this one round, we'll get back round, and we'll end up when we'll go to, we'll go to this area. And we'll figure out what's, what's wrong with our drones there.
That, by the way, is a mode inside this game called... Where is it? The game plane? Where they're hidden it? Where they do it? I can't remember where they did it. I'm up under the advanced game settings, actually. Uh, creatures, and it's that one. Disable... Oh, what is it? Oh, let's get rid of them. Okay. There was another one where they just turned them into cats. Which is what that was doing. So that used to be spiders. But there's a setting somewhere that turns them into... There it is there, that one. So if I turn that... I've also got them set to passive, so they won't even attack me anyway, but if I turn that on... You'll see they turn into... Spiders. And they're nasty. And... I just can't be bothered dealing with any animals at all that attack me in this game, so I disable all that stuff. So I might even make it even further by taking it off completely, which was there, wasn't it? So that's even better. Done. Alright. This is actually the first time I've been here since I came into 1.0, so my first thing is to check if whether all these resource nodes are still valid, and they look like they are. That's good. There's a whole bunch of... Is it iron ore or coal? That's iron ore, sorry. Because um, this is making steel beams and steel pipes. Oh, that's interesting. That wasn't there in previous versions. That's interesting. Um, we've also got a whole bunch of more iron ore and a whole bunch of coal coming in here because this is making steel beams. First thing you're going to make for that is steel ingots, so you've got to make an awful lot of coal and stuff in here. Um, yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay. So obviously they're all functioning still. Uh, there's oil through there, which will look like it, that's working, because I've got pumps there. Let's just double check this. I think, I think they're okay. Yeah, that's definitely functioning, and they're all functioning. Okay, so they're all, they're all going well. Okay, good. Right. So let's just double check the top of this one to the left and we'll check the pipes and beams are being made. Looks like everything's running. We've got stuff coming up there. Yeah. And this is where our problem's going to be. I said we're going to find two drones sitting there doing nothing. So this one's bringing in batteries. Oh, that's bringing in... This one brings in the batteries. So I'm going to delete you. And I'm going to delete you. And theoretically, what happened last time I did this is if I just build it again, it'll just take off because it knows what it needs to do. Perhaps not. Alright. Try that in the other. I'll try that on the other end. Ok, 
cannot unload. Okay, so it can't unload at the other end, I think. That's probably why. So this one's meant to bring in batteries. It comes out of that and gets distributed into this one. Which doesn't have any, so let's just add them in there. Oh, that's probably why they didn't take why it didn't take off. Because uh, it's which one's this doing? Yeah, it's taking the bat that's right, let's do that. Yeah, that's now going to take off, because that's going to take those, that's good. Alright, so it'll take off, it'll take a f that'll do a few trips before it runs out of batteries again. Um, this one I think is have a problem with it can't unload at the other end, which is why this one's not, why it's not coming back. But the upshot is that's producing Iron, pl iron steel pipes, using steel beams. They're over, f not they're all loaded up into the beam containers there, so they're going straight into the awesome sink, which is fine. Right, let's go check the other one. So this one, in this production tower makes uh, gas filters, and gas filters are used in the okay, are used in the production of iod ionized fuses, fuse filters or something. Alright, so we've got stuff coming out of there, which is good. Yep, that's going well. Oh, I've got two more fuel generators here. Which is not quite running properly because of this. No, you're running 100%. You're running 100%. What's that producing? 40 a minute. Alright, let's bring that down. Okay, it's dead on 20 minute. That's good. So now we'll make this one run at 100%. Okay. I think that will make that a bit more. Forty minutes running 100%. Feeding that one. You should start to feed that one. Yeah, it's alright. Alright, so we're getting 500 megawatts out of that. Okay, uh, now, up here... Oh, you have a light not working. Uh, which one of these can I connect? It'll do. Alright. This is a lot bigger than it used... Uh, a lot bigger than it really needs to be. Um... So that's, oh, that's polymer resin or something. Okay, that looks interesting as to why. Okay, that's backed up. That's backed up. This is making fabric, as I said, for these mesh, these filters. Uh, I'll just go, actually, I'll go out the window that again. Because we can go in this one. And this is the manufacturer that makes them. Oh, iron plate. Where was iron plate being made? Okay, am I missing something? Where was iron plate being made? Huh. Oh, they've changed the they've changed the recipe. I think have they? Because they had coal, rubber, and fabric come into this one. Now it's coal, fabric, and iron plate. Oh, okay. That's interesting. 
so that's why I've got this coal coming in here and going up that side okay interesting okay okay everything else is just being sunk at the moment yeah, okay so nothing's been wasted per se so this also has an incoming battery drone port which is I think is that one yep that then puts them into that drone port which allows that to go out but insufficient fuel that's probably at the other end that I've got to look at that so let's head to the main factory I'll have to come back and look at this one later So this this factory was the first time I did a tower like that, and that's why I started using that sort of design in the rest of the fact in the rest of the main building. But then we got around to putting the roof and the and the sides on that one, so it's a thing to come back and do at some point. But first, let's go off to let's next go off to the main factory. Uh, just quickly show you this this is my five five levels of batteries each level has 400 batteries in it for a total of 2,000 here at least so that's where all my batteries that's where all the storage of um, excess power goes just want to check whether this is still a functioning sulfur node through here because this sulfur goes all the way through to the ma to the it's impure. Okay, it's probably because the other other area is not running properly, so that's fine. Look, I could still a sulfur node. Just not too sure if it's impure before where that's been changed, but we'll figure that out later. <laughs> 